Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Zombie Night Terror. Alright, terror in the elevator. Uh, living it up while the population's going down. We have to get a crawler out of the tower and on the way out we have to murder everybody. Absolutely everybody. It's starting to become a theme. You know what, I've been playing video games for a long time. I've clearly become comfortable with the idea of killing absolutely everybody. So let's, let's have a look at the map here. How many humans is everybody? Is 35? 35 is the number? Jesus. Um, okay, well, yeah. There's a lot of rooms of people. Alright, let's just tackle it one thing at a time. If we learned anything from the Terminator level, it's that we should not try to plan without first figuring out what all the parts of the level are. So let's just run through this, see if we can beat it. Alright, so when we go in here, we can destroy this. I do not really understand the rules for, like, when the doors open and close. Because this is not connected to that door, right? Seems odd. Alright, I'm gonna have to... Do I have to jump them? Will they fall and catch the wall? They will not. Okay. So the answer is yes. Even, even if they will fall all the way over to a wall... They will not grab the wall while falling. That's just good, uh, you know, that's good data. Alright, so we will jump over here, <coughs> jump over here, eat these people. I wonder if there's a, uh, hold up. Most interesting possible YouTube stuff. Let's have a look at the controls. Page up, oh, scroll wheel, sure. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that's what the scroll wheel does. Hold on a second. Left control and scroll wheel. Right, it's important when reading something to read all of the characters. I right, definitely want these both to be crawlers. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. So let's make sure that we get this done right. Uh... Do I want to open this? This guy is potentially just going to eat us if I do that. Well, let's let's find out if we can if we can like overwhelm him. We cannot. The leap is not effective. All right. I cannot fast forward this. I just tried. We're testing, we're learning. Everything is basically going fine. And you can tell things are going fine because I'm saying that things are fine, which is something that people always say only when things are actually fine. We're not breaking this, we're just gonna walk away. No, we're not. No, 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 no. Hmm. So is this a timing thing? Do I have to wait for him to turn to the side? Because I thought he was turning toward the door because of the sound of the door getting hit, but maybe that's not the case. Yeah, no, it's totally not. Okay. That's a valuable lesson. I bet that's going to come up on future levels. Uh, welcome to the team. We got lots of DNA. I suppose I can continue to afford to jump people around. And we're going to keep getting DNA as we murder all these hapless, hapless people. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, no. Actually, you know what? With these little ledges, I wonder if I do have to... Let's see here. What happens if I just let them fall? Okay, yeah, they do fall onto the little ledges. Alright, good to know not actually that useful. This is actually going to get fairly expensive. I cannot afford to screw this up a bunch. And you cannot, um, unfortunately, cannot turn these guys into overlords. Once they're crawlers, they can't be overlords. 
So what is my plan here? Do I want to just scrap these guys for DNA? I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't think I can afford to get them back to where we're going. Alright, so these guys smash through the doors, open things up. Probably, I could be uh, more careful with the uh, opening stuff back up, and maybe I can leave people trapped in areas and not blow the power controls right away. So, see, the doors are kind of opening and closing under their own volition. I don't really know how to control for that. Get him. Nope. I still have a zombie? Show me. Ooh. You know, I didn't see what happened to the guy who crawled up here. I just assumed he died in a way that I was too stupid to notice. Okay, well. We'll be more careful. Let's not turn everybody into a crawler, right? I, I suppose I could in a lot of cases, have zombies just kind of chill in positions and wait for them to be needed. So, like, I could turn one of these into an overlord and corral. Or I could do it up here. That's probably what I'll do. Which means these two should be crawlers. Oh no! Oh, he okay. He was told to jump, so he jumped. I'm actually gonna have that guy wait. Hello. What are you doing here? Classic horror movie dialogue. All right, so we can kill this guy and release. Yeah, we can release this guy whenever, so we're, we're just going to let him sit there in his little holding cell. I am going to take this small army. Alright, this time I'm paying attention, making sure nothing untoward occurs. So if we had the scream ability, we could wake those zombies up. Unfortunately, we don't get that just yet. But destroying this amp will... Okay, turn off the power to that. And then we just kind of have to wait for this door to feel like it should be open. Or wait, that guy was just talking. Was that relevant? Should I have been paying attention to that? Hmm. You know what? I'm not... I'm not guiding all these guys around. Because I think the right thing to do here is to avoid this guy for now. Oh, but if I get past him, I get to get these. Hmm. Well, hold on. There's some infection stuff here. It may be that I have to use the Romero sometimes. So this Romero is fairly easy to get to. I do wish that it said on the barrel how many doses it gives you. That would really help me with the planning brilliant. Also, I really like the animation, the look on his face, and the hands on the hips. A lot of emotion is being conveyed. I want to kill this guy. We're going to try it. Nope. Never mind, we're not. I, I don't want to go in there. That is a problem. Let's go say hello to these, these party people. So we could drop down through here and kill this guy. Alright, I don't want to destroy this yet. Oh, I can't drop down through there and kill that guy. I don't have the explosives. We have to have the explosives to do that. Alright, it might be time to let our little friend out here down. Or a little friend down here out. So we'll kill the uh, we'll kill the door, kill the guy, and try to figure out a way of dealing with this punk. I guess it, it might be a timing thing again. It might be that we just have to get him while he's turned, but we have a lot less control this time.
Nope, didn't work. He saw it. Boy, he really lets him have it. And I try this jump again. Also, this has to be destroyed, it looks like. It's connected to uh, something. Actually, it looks like it's just connected to these two doors, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, this is where I jumped the last guy. Hey, you! Oh! Oh, well, that works! Shoot, that was obviously the plan. <laughs> okay, and when this guy turns, then we'll be able to jump them over to here. Yeah, okay. Alright, this is gonna get us these two barrels now. So I'm just gonna let him fall, right? He'll fall onto the ledge and go through, I think? Yeah. A little slow. It's okay, it looks like I actually could just let this guy do that loop over and over again. Knock knock, Agent Dark Matter. His name is ridiculously lame, but honestly, in kind of a cool way. I wish I had the, the audacity to be so lame. Alright, so we got Explode and Scream and a complete refill on our DNA. <clears throat> oh hey, it's a good thing I looked back over here. He was already falling. Alright, so he'll climb straight up to here. That's cool. I don't know what we're going to do with it yet, but it's cool. Oh, we have Explode now. All these guys have to get crawlers now, or else they're gonna not survive this fall. Uh, but this is ha this is handled now. So what's next? We have to attack this cop from the back through this thing. This is kind of a tricky level because it's difficult to get all of your zombies stopped after you've started going. Which means you constantly have to be paying attention to a lot of different things. Zombie just fell to his death. That's one of those uh, things that I was just talking about. I guess this could be destroyed. I, it doesn't matter anymore. I think they're going to get out down here. Uh, so... I want you to turn and do this and then we want one of you to be a crawler we throw a crawler up have him blow up the wall then turn the other guy into a crawler and throw him up all right no survivors so far we still have tw we're not even halfway through all right well, these ones will be easy enough this is just a matter of throwing a zombie up. One of these can be turned into an overlord to facilitate that if I can't make the jump, but I think I'll be able to make the jump. Then we could do a blow up, jump, climb, jump, blow up. Or not even blow up right away. Let him let one climb up first and get some Romero. Did we we didn't get any Romero yet. There's some up here. We're getting close to it, actually. Okay. I sort of wish I hadn't given this guy the jump command already, because I'd like to just wait on this. Oh, he turns around periodically. That could be a really problem, a really bad problem. I want to shoot you more than I want to shoot the zombies. You're a real hero. Total hero cop. Alright, so this will get them crawling up. Ooh, that's not great. So it looks like this door is electri electrified for the moment until we destroy this. So I'm going to jump him across and then jump him back across up here and let him get locked in. 
I'm just gonna set that thing. All right, I did. I managed to make the angle uh, low enough that the zombie who doesn't stick to the wall doesn't just fall to his death immediately. All right, you guys can't. You can't do that. Can't do that just yet. Okay, so that situation is now under control. Eventually. It might be a little slow yet. Yeah, this guy's gonna have to be jumped across. These two get to come play with those guys. Oh no. Everything's fine. Okay, and he can just fall and hit the Overlord. That's, that's cool. Alright, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Ah, too late. So, over here, I think I'm going to make an Overlord. You want to... I, I didn't need to jump him, I guess. You just... Oh, no. Well. Oh, I'm a huge idiot. Well, now I have to do this. I feel really dumb. Because these guys are not going to survive this fall. You may as well get back over here. Uh, you guys should be crawlers, because everybody needs to be crawlers right now. Well, not everyone. Okay, now this guy can actually climb up there and get us some Romero. These guys are all going to be fine. We are not going to destroy this yet. So this gives me a way to come out and get Romero. And also a back entrance to this room. But I think if we can pull together enough, either enough Romero or enough DNA to use screams, we shouldn't need a back entrance to this room. Okay. Yeah, he can. They can just crawl right up. In fact, we'll speed this guy's ascent a little bit too. Two contaminations. Oh. Hmm. Is this guy just dead? Maybe not. Let's try something, shall we? Let's get fancy. Actually, we're totally done. Like, th th those are the last four guys. If this is two contaminations, we just win even without having to pull off anything fancy here because we just manually contaminate them all. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, so let's try, th let's try to resolve this thing. Alright, so, the plan. Clearly, a crawler could jump up here, jump across. If I had three crawlers do it, I'd be able to get this. Oh no, I don't even need to have three crawlers do it. A single crawler should be sufficient. Keep everybody in place for a little bit. Right, because a single crawler does this and just climbs up and grabs the Romero. That was only one contamination, unfortunately. But also, it should be enough, right? I mean, we could go get this one. But if I contaminate three of them and then have one of them scream, it should be sufficient, right? Like, let's say you, you, and you. Or even just have one of them explode. Let's 
Is that a little bit more dramatic than usual? Oh, he survived that. Holy crap. Um, you lot. DNA. Ooh. Okay, I did not accidentally destroy the wall. That would have been embarrassing. So that's every human, and then... All I have to do is just jump one of these guys and I win? That actually wasn't that difficult, it was just long. But I like it, they got me thinking. I have to say, I'm really enjoying this game. I hope that you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, you know, uh, likes and favorites and I don't... Whatever it is that people do on YouTube, man. You've probably been here longer than I have. Unpaid overtime. Completed. Construction site. Up at the top of the tower. I feel like you shouldn't have to give people that order. It should be assumed that you do not want zombies past points. Any points. Okay, so it's given me a certain number of... Uh, Couple of free starting zombies. Kill all the workers. The union strikes back. And then guide a zombie to the top of the construction site. Well, what does that mean? Top of the construction site. Wow, okay. Well, this is going to be a little bit of a trip. Alright. Well, one problem at a time, right? So we have access to every power that we've seen so far. We start with almost everything, and then there's... Why does it not start us with explosives? If it's just going to have us walk for free into an explosive barrel immediately. Ooh. We had to kill that guy as part of our quest. Well, one thing at a time. Quest? That's not a good word for this. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright. So, I don't know how many... I think it just feeds you infinite zombies, but like not more than a certain number at a time. We're going to be putting that theory to the test. You know what, why don't you just go over here and eat that dude, please? I do not have a great plan for dealing with this guy. So let's see. What else do we have access to? We have a bunch of DNA here. And more dead. This is going to be like a bunch more DNA. And it goes up. This is the top of the screen in case you're wondering right here. So I guess we just have to get a crawler onto one of these vertical beams. So I'm going to deal with the pistol guy. I mean, we could just try to overwhelm him, right? I don't know how many bullets that pistol is has, but it can't be an infinite number. Can I jump from here? Like, hmm. Getting to these guys is actually going to be kind of interesting. In fact, I've already screwed it up. Let's rewind that back. You just have to... It's not tricky. You just have to do it before destroying this, right? It's actually uh, pretty straightforward, it seems like. I love the surprise zombie bomb. I love it a lot. Yeah, we just wait for one of them to be going this way. Well, bad news for you guys. The zombies are infinite. I'm pretty sure. Aw. Are they not infinite? <laughs> no. Huh. Things went so much more smoothly last time. Alright, well, we'll get him. We're starting at a little bit of a disadvantage here. That's all. 
It would be cool if I didn't have to... Yeah, good. Alright, got him. Oh, they both want to walk the wrong direction? That's fine. And that'll get that guy. And we may as well burn these dudes before they kill themselves. Alright, you should probably be a crawler. Just in case, for the falls. Alright, so it looks like we need a crawler to be jumped up here, and then to jump here. Is he going to be able to... Ah. So maybe what I actually need... Oh, that's a... That's bad. Huh, how to make him fall a little bit more sanely? I suppose the thing that had to be done was... Yeah, there's no way to turn one of them into a... Damn it. They had to be thrown from this side, really. Or I guess you could throw them from right here and just arc it. That would be cool. Basically, we're doomed. Okay. We're getting there. We're figuring out the steps. Wait, don't do that yet. Well, that didn't work. There we go. This would be a lot easier if you guys would just die. Chomp. Okay. Uh, so I need a crawler over here. We don't care about this guy. We just need the construction workers to die. Nice. I really dig in dropping zombie bombs on people, by the way. So we don't actually want everybody to be crawlers all the time. Oh, no, wait. I want to... Sorry. I don't want to turn you into something. I want to sacrifice you. For the greater good. You understand. Alright. Corral all these zombies. Wait for the crawlers to get here, and then I'm going to throw a jump command on him and try to only catch a crawler with it. Alright, got him. So let's think now. It looks pretty safe. Never mind. <laughs> it looks pretty safe up here. I lied. No, there's definitely danger here. Well, nothing for it but to go up, though. So the plan is we get up here, we free some more zombies, we again make use of... Actually, make use of a couple of overlords, it looks like. I think that's going to be the best play. So, like... You do that. Okay. This will give me a moment to think. Uh, that's a total refill. So we need... 
we need to do a little a little jumping puzzle with a single crawler here. And we can free guys from the the scrum here by just having them leap over the overlord. So if this if this doesn't work, we we have a couple more chances. Actually, we have probably several more chances. Quite a quite a number more chances. So the deal is we have to fall and turn this way. There we go. That wasn't that hard. Uh, and then we have a lot of bad guys up here. So this is connected to this van. We should shoot all these guys up to here. I'm not sure exactly of the value of that. And this is connected to this van, which would get us to here. And we may as well hit those two, obviously. There's no way I'm going to get to those when I don't want them to be on. So we have to get... These two construction workers, this guy, and this guy. Alright. Alright. I have to be just a little cautious. I don't want to lose everything now. So let's send our one dude up. He should be able to handle this now. So it's very easy to get this turned on and get dudes blasted up to this level. The question is, how do we deal with these guys? And I guess the answer might just be this. Let's just wreck this thing, send those guys up to the next level and figure it out later. Oh, how interesting. Hey, wait, where'd my dude go? Oh, there's... Yeah, and they'll just fall to their deaths eventually. Okay. So I actually have to um, pay attention and do a little jumping here. And you just get to be DNA. Why did I do that? He was going to definitely climb up that wall without my intervention. All right. So now, oh, this this is a floor. We can just wait. Oh, can I turn this guy into a crawler while he's in the air? I don't think I can. Can I sacrifice him while he's in the air? No. Alright, I guess he's just going to fall to his death. Oh well. I think it is time to unleash the horde. We will have to apply an overlord pretty much right where they land. And unfortunately, all of the crawlers are going to get away. I say get away because it's a pleasant issue euphemism. I should definitely have burned those crawlers. That was a mistake. I guess it doesn't matter. We're going to get full DNA anyway, it looks like. That being the case, let's um, let's make a bunch of dudes crawlers, right? They can't actually get out of this area without us jumping them manually anyway. So, no reason not to. Ooh, never mind. Those guys absolutely did the thing I just said they weren't going to do. Um, but that was a fluke. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. All right, I got most of them. So there we go. 24 DNA, bunch of crawlers to work with. So, number one is, hmm, this is three. Oh, right, right, right. There's a guy way down at the bottom of the level who is still in that elevator. Good work, guy. You survived the zombie apocalypse. For now. Good luck continuing to eat. So what is my path to get to these guys? So we can jump a zombie up here, have him climb over here, fall, jump, climb, jump, jump, he falls, jump, jump. That should get us this guy. 
one thing at a time. And we got we have a lot of extra zombies to use as um, zombie juice. Oh, it looks like you can. Oh, what is this? Wait, what does this do? I was gonna say it looks like you can use this to turn off the fan. So, like, if the guys got stuck in the air, you'd smash them. But actually, this isn't connected to that. This line that I'm seeing is connected to this electric fence. So I guess turning on the fan turned off the electric fence? I don't know what this does. Oh, okay, we can't quite do the thing I wanted to do there. That's alright, I have a different plan. Wait, what is my plan? I waited too long. My plan was to wait too long. There we go. That got me where I was going eventually. So actually, we can um, right now do this. And that'll get us this guy in the corner. We're going to have to burn some zombies for, for gas, I think. Alright. Hey! Alright. <laughs> Not exactly what I was looking for, but it'll do. Will he? Yeah, he'll make it. Okay, let's go ahead and burn a couple zombies right now. Just that I don't find myself in a situation where I need to be making a jump right away and I can't. Right? Make it, make it, make it. Oh, no, this is a platform. Okay. Uh, let's see, what is, the ob what is the most obvious way to do this other thing? How about this? We'll get this guy up here, have him jump. Yeah, this actually is fairly straightforward. Jump across to here, then jump across to that one. He didn't quite go where I wanted him to go. No, he went into climbing the... Climbing over the corner right away. I suppose the best thing would actually be just to get him on here. Which we can do by jumping onto this, and then I... Th can we make that? I don't know, we got plenty of zombie bodies with which to try. Oh yeah, I went and figured out the keyboard shortcuts so that I wouldn't have to do that. Looks like the answer is no. Alright, that's fine. Plan B. Alright, let's burn a couple more guys. For when this inevitably does not work. That looks like it should work. Oh, he grabbed it. Damn it. This, I think this is the right one. So here's, here's a new plan. Jump over to here. Jump over to here. Earlier. And then do this. Yeah. How about that? Alright, and I have exactly enough DNA. Got him. All right, I'm going to let him re resurrect as a zombie just to make sure that it is fully counted. And finish. All right, I believe... I believe this is taking us to the final level of the chapter. After completing this level, we will be halfway done with the game. Wow. Aw, that was kind of sweet. Oh god, Donkey Kong. 
you know, I know why I said it. But, uh, in retrospect, that feels like a really dumb thing to say. This is actually completely adorable. Getting away. All right. Um. Oh, I guess that was maybe not the quickest way to accomplish the thing I'm trying to accomplish here. All right. So I need an overlord on this side that is throwing them up to here. Ooh, okay. Go, little dude, go! Aha! Check that out. I get the speed zombie power ups. I assume. Yeah, I'm just supposed to overlord toss people up over this thing. This is a super cool level, and I'm also really enjoying the soundtrack. So we want to be careful about how high, or how far the zombies have to fall, you know? Oh wow, that was really easy. I'd say, uh, super cool, not that challenging. And honestly, we might even beat the, the challenge on the learning run. <laughs> we'll get her. Uh-oh. No. That didn't hurt her at all. Okay, we're not gonna beat it on the learning run because we actually still have to fight her. She actually seems to have gotten a little confused. Is she vulnerable? Oh, she is. Well, this is over then. Yeah, we can beat this in 245. I have no no concerns about that. Would you guys please? I'm going to need a little bit of focus here, fellas. You know, I feel pretty bad about this one. And that, that didn't help. I feel pretty bad about this one because I feel like she basically seems to be uh, an innocent. Not, not indeed, uh, but perhaps an intent. What I'm trying to say is none of this is her fault. Alright, so for the first part what we want to do is play the level at higher speed. Because it doesn't change the speed of the camera uh, uh, that the game timer moves. Pausing when necessary, but generally playing at high speed. Okay. And trying to lose zombies as infrequently as possible. For maximum scaring Gertrude onto the next level. This is a cool level though, I really like it. There's so many neat things they can do with the design of this game. I'm a big, big fan so far. Uh, okay. You, you're my guy. Oh. They, uh, they lose their running fast when they jump. 
Oh, I missed him. I just flat missed him. This is why I was pausing. And then I was like, you know what? You don't need to do that. You're good at clicking on stuff. You've only played a million first-person shooters. But no, apparently I'm still bad at clicking on stuff. Who would have thought? Alright, so where am I at? I'm at a minute 30. Oh, I, yeah, I sure gave it to him. Well, I just ran him right into that. I'm, uh, doing more harm than good here. Uh, guys, go, go, go. Everybody go. Scare her off. Hurry. Get her. Fight her with great speed. There we go. Alright. Yep. They never show that part on TV. Alright. That's two chapters of the four chapters of Zombie Night Terror finished. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, leave a like. Uh, leave some comments. I always like to get feedback. And uh, come back next time for chapter three. We'll see you then.